एक और इन व्हाट्सएप Uh, what do you mean, sir? Uh, oh, good. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, all right. Have you done any revision? Don't really check. Okay, catch up. A little today. Um, because uh, last week, Friday class, they come late, and then for some reason, the internet be gone. After one come late. Because I also realized that you you weren't in class for the rest of the time. You logged on and then you went missing. Yeah, <clears throat> internet drop. Mm -hmm. All right, you you um so you know that we're doing the the block scheduling for the for the for the semester so you know that by the end of february you're going to have your exam for calculus one so you really can't be you can't be like we miss a class you can't be tiring you have to you have to be on top of things here so start getting on to your educon start do yes um, sir. yeah man please And if 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 students don't pass calculus one, they cannot move on to calculus two. Yes, sir. All right. Um, where the, oh, it's just five minutes past. All right. When we get yourself sorted out, I'm coming back in another ten minutes.
All right. Um, good afternoon, guys. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Hmm. Uh, a little bit anxious, but I am giving thanks. Thank you for asking. What are you anxious about? Uh, I really... I am wrapping up <clears throat> one of the units and... um. Earlier on, I was having a conversation with Colin, and um, I think mine is a responsibility to remind you all about about what it is that we're doing this semester um, as it relates to the block scheduling that we have to be going and going. Um, completing quite a bit of number, quite a bit of task um, simultaneously. So what I recognize is that for last semester, there were a number of you that didn't complete the assigned tasks on Edico in a timely manner. And as a result of that, some of us were in a bind. Now, I know those who are redoing from last semester, I can't add you just yet because they, I tried this morning, <clears throat> but because they, 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 the course is still active, it is telling me that you are registered in another, in another, um, course, even though I ended this talk, and I don't want to end it fully just yet because there are other persons who are still trying to access some information from Edifo. Um, but for sure, Amanda and Adrian and Shamari and Colin um, at least should have actually started doing some assessments. I'm seeing zero bit of assessment. Um, yes, sir. I, I do plan to start it. I do plan to start it. Yeah, but I'm going to ask her to start sooner than later, please, because it is going to it's going to haunt you. When I say haunt you, I really mean it's going to haunt you. On to in that um, when the grades are ready, remember, and I really hope that you guys will remember this. I have to be on my P's and Q's. When I give you your mid-semester, um, I'll have to return those. When I give you the work on it, you have to do it and return those to me because before the exam is administered, all of those grades must be in so that when I'm marking a I can just add your grades to edit for soft, boom, get the results out of it, and then say, okay, you pass, you pass, you pass, and all of you pass, we're moving on to calculus two. And not going to have a week to mark the exam papers. It means that a week is going to be missing from calculus. And remember, there are some students already who already passed calculus one who are awaiting on us to start the calculus two. So I can't tarry. What am I saying? None of you so far that are on the platform actually started doing any of, us, any of the assessments. I am not worried too greatly about the ones who did the course with me last semester and will have to redo the edit for some pieces. At least they went through the information <clears throat> just last semester. You guys are going through it for the first time. So you will need to start. So you are getting a head start over the other students in the class make and take advantage of it. I know the other students will catch up because they have seen the information before. 
So my new students, please, um, the start of the semester is not so good. You are all on edit. So for the, at the very first class, you need to get going. I need to call edit and ask him to, to end last semester session so that the ones who sit the, sat the exam with me, the first of me last term, I can then transfer over to this new calculus one. I'm unable to do it because they are still active in that regard. So please, I'm coming to class and I'm saying this to you. Let me tell you where the situation, where it's going to be at. When the exam done, I'm gonna mark the papers. I'm not gonna have any time to say, oh, sir, can I get another day to finish off Edifice Up? It's gonna be a no. Start working from now. Start working from now. Please and thanks. Please and thanks. All right. Um, so today I am actually wrapping up unit one to start unit two. I'm starting unit two today, wrapping up unit one. Um, so what I have, and I think you should be seeing it. I start sharing something on, um, what is that being shared on? Inter indeterminate form, including a negative infinity. That's what you're seeing on the screen, right? Or are you seeing the screen, I should ask? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now, this is a new week. Last week was our first week. This is a new week because of what I just explained in terms of us having to move along. You see, today in class, when I'm teaching, when I ask one question, are you following? I'm expecting people to answer me. I'm expect I'm not going to stop and say, John, you're understanding. Mary, you're understanding. Those days are behind us. We have to be going. So when I say, are you understanding? Please, I'm going to ask you to unmute to let me know that it's an indication that I'm can move on. Do we have an agreement class? Yes, sir. Appreciate it much. Um, and also importantly, yours is a responsibility if you're not following and I ask if you're understanding to say, sir, I'm not following. No, we can't. Yes, Papa. Uh, before you start, we can get off. Uh, a five minute recap of what we do last week Friday. So we can find it. So I'm kind of confusing on the videos on YouTube. We should follow exactly. Aye, aye, aye. Um, I'd have to talk to you outside of class. Um, I'm not going to have the time to be, no, but I will talk to you outside of class. Yeah. Uh, I need some help. Sorry, let, me, let, me, let me try that first before I ask for some help. I'm, 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 if I, I need to try something now, if that don't work, I'm going to, I'm going to need your help. Let me tell you what, what I'm talking about. All right. The, I, next, hold on, the next solution is you have access to these videos. So, so, so this is what I'm saying now. So th that's a challenge I'm having now. Okay. Um, normally, when I try to upload the videos and I go on to the device, um, there is a sign that says send. And I just click on the sign and just send it directly to the YouTube. No, I'm not seeing that send sign and I'm having some difficulty. So what I want to ask you, you don't have to answer me now. If you are proficient with uploading things to, to YouTube, I want to talk to me before class in. Just send me a private message and then we can talk. Um, I have another device, but um, which is my last resort, which is why I said to you that I need to try that one. That is the only device now that I have. Um, that um, if it don't work there, um, me, me kind of dark. I don't know what else to do. So I'm mean, let me try that option first. If it don't work, I'm gonna come to the class and cry. You guys are the computer specialists, and I need help, and I need to get the help from you guys. Just like when you get help from me, I need help from you. All right. So if that don't work, I'm gonna definitely come to class and ask you to because I have three videos that I need to upload: Monday, Wednesday, and Friday's video. I tried, but I can't. I, I just couldn't do it. All right, let's go. 
Are there any other questions? We have an understanding for tonight. Are there any other questions? All right, so clearly we don't have an understanding because I asked something on any other questions? Um, no, sir. All right. All right, no problem. Let's go. So we're looking at the indeterminate form, including negative infinity. Including negative infinity. Now, I I want to create, I want to create a, a level of understanding. Oh crap. Right. I want to create an understanding. The question says the limit as x tends to negative infinity. The limit as x tends to negative infinity. When I put negative infinity and, and raise it to the fourth power, that value becomes positive. When I raise negative infinity to the third power, it becomes negative. And negative infinity times a negative seven, of course, this value in itself becomes positive because when I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive number. So the general rule is when you raise a negative number to an even power, the result is positive. And conversely, when you raise a negative number to an odd power, the reverse is the, the result is negative. What am I saying to you is this in a similar fashion, in a similar fashion to what it is that we did last time around. You're going to be looking for the term that has the highest exponent. Looking for the term that has the highest exponent in both the numerator and denominator. So you're just looking for the highest term. Sometimes the highest term is found only in the numerator, as we would have seen last class. Sometimes the highest term is found in the denominator. Sometimes the highest term, highest um. When I say term, I'm talking about the coefficient. The highest coefficient could be found in both the numerator and denominator. In this case, the highest coefficient is found in both numerator and denominator. And that is going to be x to the fourth. Now, what we do with that, we are going to be dividing through each term by the highest term, coefficient term. So the highest coefficient term is x to the fourth. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. So therefore, no. What we're going to be doing is 6x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th plus 25x squared, uh -uh, x cubed divided by x to the 4th minus 7x divided by x to the 4th. All right. Can you hold on half a second for me, please? Hold on half a second for me, please.
All right, sorry about that here, guys. So you would you would recognize that the question is done in a similar fashion to what we did in in the past. We divide each other. <laughs> sorry, we divide by the highest um coefficient and the highest exponent term. And when we do that, we're going to look at the cancellation. I wasn't too confident um, with some of you when we were doing the cancellation. So let us try it one more time now. Mm -hmm. So each term is going to be divided by x to the fourth. 25x cubed divided by x to the fourth, negative 7x divided by x to the fourth. Yes, even the denominator is going to be divided by the same thing. 4x cubed over x to the fourth plus x to the fourth over x to the fourth. Now work with me. 6x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th. The x to the 4th cancel. So you're just going to be left with 6. And 25x cubed divided by x to the 4th. All of the x cubed is going to cancel out and leave just one of the x's. You see this one is 3. It means that I have 3 x's here, but I have 4 x's here. The power tells me how many x's I have. So I take all of the 3 x's out of the 4 x's and be left with just one x. So I'm just going to have 25 over x. See it right here. Seven x to the fourth. I have one x in the numerator. I'm going to cancel it with one of the four x's I have here in the denominator. So it's just going to be x cubed. So I'm going to have seven over x cubed. Similar. Oh God, call it again. Oh, all right. It was a calling error. Good. Similarly, four x cubed over x to the fourth. All of this x cubed is going to be cancelled into Three of the four here, so I'm going to be left with one. So I'm going to have four over x. See it right here. And four to, and x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is simply one. So now as x tends to infinity, as x tends to infinity, as x tends to infinity, remember all the fractional terms, which are constant, and your variable in the denominator, the constant in the numerator, with your variable in the denominator, will all tend to zero. Will all tend to zero. That is 25 over x, 7 over x cubed, 4 over x, and 1 over x squared will all go to zero. Will all go to zero. So what I'm going to have is 6 plus 0 minus 0 over 0 plus zero. Uh oh, sorry. Sir, I think it's a question below it. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for paying attention. You know, you know, when I recognize, because I recognize that I did something with one, so I said, but how do I have one over x squared? Thanks for paying attention, um, Simon. Um, right. So I'm going to have this one here. So all of those go to zero. So I'm going to have six plus zero minus zero over zero plus one. And all of that is going to be six over one. So my answer is going to be six. So even though I'm tending to negative infinity, I'm still going to get something that is going to be of the indeterminate form and I just go ahead and do the stuff. All right? Now, look, I'm telling that the answer here is three halves. Look at this question for me. Look at this question here for me and tell me if you agree with this three halves. If you, if you have to work it, I have no problem. Go ahead and, and look at it. Um, and follow the instructions that I just explained just now. So, Colin, my explanation just now was particularly for you. So go ahead and put pen to paper and try doing that one for me, please. Oh, yes. I'm giving you three minutes.
Yes, sir. All right, I heard you. Um, good job. Give me half a second, please. How, how, how the rest of you? Aston Lisa, she was fine. The rest of you are okay now? Yes, sir. Good job. May I refer to my new song? If you want the answer, you can tell me. No. Uh, what, what's, your, what's your answer? Tell me your answer. All right. Sir, I'm going to 10 over 4, but I'm not sure if I'm going to break it down to 5 over 2. Is the answer 7 over 4, class? No, 10 over 4. What is 10 over 4? Break it down and then to get 10 over 4. That's uh, 5 over 2? Yeah, that's 5 over 2. Yeah. Is that correct, class? Not from my calculation, no. No, because you may, you may have put the answer right here. You know, the answer is 3 over 2, you know, um, Colleen. Oh. Answer is 3 over 2. So I'll give you know, half a minute again to just double check. Let me, let me go back and... Let me go back and present, project this one here. I'm reducing it so that you can have the full something. All right, so so walk through question 15 now and attempt 14 for me. I mean, attempt number 16. I'm giving you a minute, so you need to hurry up so I don't hold back the others um too much. Number 16, not seeing number 16. I've seen number a 15. Right, number 16 is what you just did. So what is it that you want us to do now? Not you, Colin. I'm asking Colin oh. to just go through because what he the answer that he gave is not correct. So I'm asking Colin just to go through quickly. Um hoping that the rest of you got through with it. Um, so that I can look at the stuff. Um, Arthur Lee, can you can you press mute and just call me right now, please? I need to talk to you. Thank you.
the rest of you just um one look over what it is that you've done. Um, I'm gonna take author Lee's call and um and giving Colin some time to do the stuff for me.
Colin, you see no purple? No, sir. Let me in a seat. All right. What is the highest? What is the highest? What is the highest um term coefficient in that question? Colin? Look at question number 16. Is it maybe x7? x raised to the seventh power. Divide everything through by x to the seventh power and tell me what you get, please. All right. Divide. So, so when we divide 6x to the seventh power, get 6, right? Mm -hmm. um, 5x to the third, we get 5. No, right? you, can't get five. you can't get 5. Can I get 5? No, sir. Negative 5x to the third divided by x to the seventh. What are you going to get? Oh, 5 over x4? Yes, sir. Oh, and what's the next term? 9x uh, uh, to the 6. No, sir. Nine, 9 over x6? No. x to the 6. Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, oh. Denom denominator now is? Uh, the denominator. Um. So, four x to the seven divided by x to the seven is four. Good job. Um. X four divided by x seven is x three. No, sir. No, sir. Huh? X to the four over X to the seven gives you what? X three, X to the three. No, sir. Go again. X to the four all over X to the seven gives you what? Waiting on you, Papa. No, sir, no, no, no. Can someone in the class tell him what it's supposed to be, please? Sir, one over x3. One over x to the third power. One, one over x. Wait, 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 wait. X to the fourth uh -huh. is in the numerator and X to the seventh is in the denominator. Yeah. So mm -hmm. X to the fourth over X to the seventh. Similar to how you've been doing the others, Colin. Yeah, Similar to X, X dot times. Is it not? It, It's an X to the seventh of the denominator, right? That's what I said. You still not see me? Hey, I thought. I'm not a here. I'm waiting on you to give me the answer, Papa. Colin, anybody else hearing me? Or is, is my system going? Yes, sir, hearing you. Colin, come talk, man. Come, come quick, 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 and fast. We need to move. Colin? Yes, sir. It, it, oh, is, is x into x? Give me a one. No, and sir. Then, and then you have minus 4x from 7. You get the x to the third.
โอเคสามเกตุตัว x One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to be left with one over one, two, three of them, x to the third. Uh, yes, sir. See it now? Yes, sir. All right. So give me your last statement now. Your last statement is as x tends to infinity, tell me the ones that go to zero. What? Um, I don't know what happened right there. Right there. So look on the something about him. Right here, someone. As x tends to infinity, to negative yeah. infinity. Yeah. What happened here, so? I just did it right here, so. Look at this line and look at what I have here, so. And tell me. It's the same thing, you know. Can somebody tell him, please? Somebody, anybody? Hell. So, um, you're going to state the fraction, and then you're going to say, as x tends to negative infinity, all of the oh. fractions are going to zero, and then you're, um, and then you're going to substitute zero along with the whole numbers of the highest term coefficients and work out that. Uh, problem. Thank you, Shaman. So, oh, oh, mm. so, so six, what is that? Minus five x to the fourth? Minus zero. It keeps saying five x to the zero. No, all the fractional, Shamara just said, all the fractional terms are yeah. going to zero. Mm -hmm. All the fractional terms are going to zero. So the five, the negative five over x to the fourth is going to go to zero. Mm -hmm. The nine over x to the sixth is going to go to the zero. The four over x to the, no, the four is a whole number. The one over x cubed is also going to zero. So those three terms are going to zero. So you're gonna have six minus zero plus zero over four plus zero, which is gonna give you six over four. Mm -hmm. Asenil, can you do this for me, please? Can you send a link for Tal to Talia for me, please? Colin, are you? Are you seeing what is happening now, sir? Uh, is it? I'm not sure, sir. Not what sure. are you talking about, Colin? Colin, Colin, you know, you're not here, you know. Look at the screen, Colin. Look here. As x tends to negative infinity, we have all of the fractional forms here all going to zero. Can you repeat that for your fractional form that you get oh, in number six? Oh, oh. Is it anything will look like these three will turn to zero, right? Yes, sir. So the four plus x to the third. That so the the x three, the x to the third, that are zero. You yes. don't have a four plus x. No, don't answer him yes, Aston, because him don't have a him don't have a x to the third. He has a one over x to the third. And I just did it on the thing about again, still keep telling me x to the third. Oh no, uh, you know. I some, think he's uh, referring uh, to the denominator. No, no, no. Yeah, but I just realized I'm gonna do a one. No, 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 no,
the one over x to the third. Yeah. This is it. You can't say x to the third. x to the third is a different number than one over x to the third. And the only x to the third that we have in that question is the one over x to the third. So it has to be that that you're, you're making reference to. Because x to the third will not go to zero. x to the third is going to go to infinity. It will never go to zero. So what you have to consider now is the one over x to the third. Hey, listen to me. Sir, my forget. Don't miss no more of my class in a bedroom. Yes, sir. Go out, man. All right. So you see it now? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, the wrong place. Uh, no. okay. so now, you, now you see the... Um, no, you said it's six over four? Yeah, six over four, and then it breaks. And then when you reduce it, it, it gets three over two? two? Yes, right. sir. Oh, good job. All right, so we're actually finishing up the topic. So I didn't want to rush this through because for your sake, um, I'm trusting and hoping that the others would have seen it. Um, so let's go. No, I won't do that with you just yet. I won't do that. Just remember that the limit of a constant is a constant itself. I won't go through that one. So when you're, when, you're finding the, when you're finding the limit of a polynomial, that is the most easiest of them all. Because when you're finding the limit of a polynomial, all you do is just go ahead and just substitute in the polynomial. When you're finding the limit of a polynomial, and what is a polynomial, sir? You notice in a, in a fraction, so in another one there? Yeah, you just see many terms. Poly means many, right? So it's in many terms, all you have to do is just do the substitution. So go ahead and substitute and tell me if you agree with those two answers I got. And then, and then we're getting some classwork. And then we finish off this in another 20 minutes so we can start the other topic, unit two. I have to move. We have exam in the, the end of February. Your exam paper is already written. Oh, we're supposed to do this? Yes, the polynomial one. The one that's equal to three? Yeah, man, Both of them. Both of them. I want to double check this that my answer is your answer. Okay. Mm -hmm.
obviously 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 I got one for the first one and not three. Anybody's got one? Anybody anybody got my ancestry? I got your answer, sir. All right, ask me, can you try that again for me, please? Okay. Oh, it's a minus one. I'm going to do it twice and get zero twice. Man, I know. Okay. Sir. All right. So, me have a question. Um, While you were explaining this part of the unit, I was driving home. But now, I practice it, right? Mm -hmm. So, let me get the understanding. So, me, I do it like. So, me, I do two X them, right? Which is X to the power three, X to the power two, which me get. 2x to the power of 5 minus negative 3x plus 1. So we don't have that as 2x to the power of 5 minus 2x, right? Mm -hmm. The 2 would cancel the, the, the 2. So the x uh, the last the last uh, Remember this is negative 1, alright? So it's going to be Two times negative one cube plus negative one square minus three times negative one plus one. Negative one cube is going to be negative one because that's negative one times negative one is positive one, and positive one times negative one is negative one. And negative one squares is positive one. I mean, I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive number plus one. Two times negative one is negative two. Negative two plus one, plus three, plus one. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. Five minus two is three. Okay, so one second. Let me jot down that work. I'm okay. um, screenshot it. So the x to the negative one, you said that was a limit? Not x to the negative one, you know. It extending to negative one. Tending to negative one. Mm -hmm. So x would be, oh, okay, so you just plug it in. x to the negative one. All right, but just a one. All right, do number two for me now. Asini, you got it now, Yes, sir. Working on number two. All right. All of you work on number two for me, please.
Yes, sir. I got number two. Good job. Can I say this name? Polynomial. Mm -hmm. They are flying up there, so. I just put that to see if you're paying attention. Suppose they pay for Yes, sir. P O L Y. Sir, mm -hmm. before you move on, number one, that's so negative two plus one plus three plus one, right? Mm -hmm. My last one, the three. When I multiply negative three by negative one, what do I get? I multiply three. When I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive. Very good. So negative three uh, times. Is that negative three? Yeah, look at the polynomial. Polynomial said two x cubed plus x squared minus three x plus one. That means you have a sign wrong, sir. After the one, that should be a negative, not a plus three. And that's what I'm explaining to you, Adrian. That when I multiply that negative three with the negative one, I'm going to get a positive three. Okay. All right, then so I, then I multiply two negative numbers. You get a positive. It becomes positive, yes. All right, so that becomes a positive three plus one. All right, so down at the end, it says we have negative two plus one. That would give you one, negative one at least. Mm -hmm. Plus three, three which. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, let's see what I'm Okay. You never had any lunch today, Adrian? No, sir. I'm not going to go work. All right. So, 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 so maybe that's the reason. But yeah, I'm happy that you're seeing it now. All right. So, Aston, you said she got the number two. Um, Anybody has got number two? Yes. Very good, Simon. Anybody else? Shamori, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not my friend today. Oh, you're, yeah. you're, 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 you're. Of course, uh, I answered you about the first one yes. after Astanil, and then now me answer you. So me get the second one. I mean, if I call to you, if you get the answer for the second one, no, me I never forgot. Well, because me I get other people a chance. Uh, me, me can't make it look like I'm oh, here alone in my class. No, well, guess what? It is your long way to talk to me. Talk as you know. Astanil did. Astanil said, "Sir, I got it." Me want to hear you say, sir, I got it. Yeah, man. Talk to me, man, so we can know say things are going. Yeah, so you get it, though? Yes, sir. Good job. The rest of you? Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, it's Talia. You know, what's up? Sir, I'm late. Sorry, about that. Mm -hmm. um, sir, I do not get that. What have you not gotten? Number two. Answer, I do not get that, sir. Why you didn't get it? What, what did you do to not get it? Okay. So sir. Wait, the number two number two is the is the x to the third power minus two x square, right? It's the one, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So sir, I'm gonna tell you I right. so the, the x to the third power would have been negative three. So 
the third, right? Which would give you negative nine, right? Mm -hmm. And then the negative two with the negative three squares. What else would be there? Talk to talk to moms. The yeah. other class is we get negative eight plus the negative plus the plus the three to the negative three we get negative nine and the c minus five but we put it in the calculator we get negative five that not right we don't know what we miss out for what to put in the calculator so I, put, I put negative nine um, negative nine. Where did you get negative nine from? Because negative three raised to the third power is not negative nine. Wait, we'll answer. Sir, wait, Musu Musu answer back here. Mega check this back over. But just see what we go wrong. Tell you I'm waiting on you, mom. I'm not leaving you. I'm waiting on you. I'm patiently waiting on you. Are oh, you still calling? Yeah, I mean, I remember for multiple. Like, I mean, uh... Well, we have, a, we have a serious problem. I mean, I, I just can't. Yes. Therein lies our problem. I'm sitting here and I'm wondering to myself, hmm, evaluating the limit of a polynomial is actually the easiest of them all because all you need is substituting. You don't have to worry about indeterminate form. You don't have to worry about undefined. You don't have to worry about it going to zero. It's just a straight substitution. So to be honest with you, I'm sitting here and I'm saying to myself, um, what is happening? You notice, I, 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 I say I'm not moving on because if you don't get this, it don't make sense to move on. Matter of fact, it don't even make sense to continue with the classes because there is more to come. And I'm telling you, so if we can't do a simple substitution utilizing our calculators, um, it is serious. So I am waiting and I want to hear, I, I've heard from Astonil. I've heard from Shamari. I've heard from Simon. I'm waiting for the others. Sir, I get it. I get it. You get it now, Adrian. Very nice. Yes, sir. Good job. I'm waiting for the others. There are one, two, three more of you in the class that I'm waiting on to hear from you.
Guys, guys, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Colin, how far you know? Talia, how far are you? Amanda, how far are you? Well, I'm not getting my first answer 25 and then my second answer negative five. I don't even know. Okay. Amanda, how far are you? So I just left work. I'm trying to get home. So I'm not attempting the question at the moment. Tell you how far are you? All right, so x is turning to negative 3. So my anywhere in the function I see x, I'm going to substitute negative 3. So it's going to be negative 3 q minus 2 times negative 3 square plus 3 times negative three minus five. Negative three squares is negative three, multiply by negative three, multiply by negative three. And negative three, multiply by negative three is positive nine. And nine times a negative three is a negative 27. minus two times a negative three times a negative three is a positive nine. Three times a negative three is a negative nine minus five. Negative 27, negative two times a nine is negative 18. Minus nine, minus five. All of these are negative numbers, so my answer has to be negative. All of those are negative numbers, so my answer has to be negative. 27 plus 18, nine and five. Nine and five is equal to 14. 14 and 18 is gonna be equal to 32. 32 and 7 is 39. 39 and 20 is equal to 59. So my answer is negative 59. Can you look at that for me, please, in two minutes? In one minute. Yes, sir. The signs I'm get wrong.
sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you know some get that well oh for putting on the calculator. Matter of fact, I should be answering you know, because I was calling and you didn't answer me. And I'm sure you that, sir. Yeah, so um I did say that when you come, I was gonna answer. I don't know why I answered a while ago. Because they say anything about it with you students, you know we can't play the same game. Because let me tell you how unfair, and this is not just for you, Talia. This is for the other students in the class as well. I am sure if, when you say, sir, can we explain this? I don't respond. And then I say, all right, guys, let us move on. Sir, I don't explain it. Okay, guys, let us move on. What would you do? I'm sure all of you will say, Mr. Ms. Campbell, you know, um, we're not getting along with Mr. Shan because we're asking him questions and he's not answering us. We want another teacher. However, however, when Mr. Shan asks a question, people decide to say them not answer. And say then not Talia, I'm going to All right, go ahead now, please. You're asking it. so you say you got you say you got it? Sir, I got up to like where the third the third one was. Mm -hmm. But I didn't put it in the calculator, right? At that mm. Yeah, man. But tell me, no man, because you're going to stop you until you say, at that Sir, I'm going to put it. Sir, I'm going to put it. One of my years is gone. Sir. So, at first, this is what I did. I got the I got the negative twenty seven. Got the negative twenty seven. But I didn't make a mistake. Whenever they get the, whenever I put the eighteen as a negative. That one. Okay. So, so this is what I did. I put negative 27, right? Mm -hmm. And I put the positive 18, but it was a negative. And the negative 9 with the minus 5. Mm, the same thing, my daughter. And then what did I keep on and get negative 23? So, really? Cloud and clear. Yeah. No, no, thank you. All right. Um, you understand it now? Yes, sir. All right. Um. Hold on a minute, please, guys.
<clears throat> Sir, what are we supposed to be doing? Sorry. Class, what are we supposed to be doing? In the same school, come. Oh, in the same school. Okay.
All right. Um, I need to use two minutes to talk to you about something, guys. Mm. No. Let me not do that. Yes, let me do it. Um, so I don't like how today's class was run. And it's not really with everybody. But I feel that some of you, um, some of you may need to definitely get onto Edicosa and get some extra work done up. Um, some of you are, are struggling. And it's not a bad thing, you know, when you know your weakness and you try to, to improve on it. But I don't want you guys to I don't want you guys to um the the simple stuff that we did in terms of a substitution today is maybe the easiest thing that we're gonna be doing in calculus one. Because calculus one is gonna move on to things like stationary points and piecewise function and differentiation and integration and if we can't get this, we're going to be in serious problems. The semester is not going to end in May or April. It is ending in February. It is ending in February. Uh, so you can repeat back what I said. I got kicked off. I didn't like how the class went today. It appears that people are struggling. And it don't make sense and move on. And say, Mark, the, the topic is finished now, you know. All that I have here are just some classwork questions, some practice questions that I um, put together to for you guys. I may just send them and ask you to do them for class on Wednesday for me. But it don't make sense and move on to something else if what it is that I'm doing here is seemingly posing a problem it is it is not good really not good guys i want to i want to i want to hear from you it don't make sense i move on so tell me from now so that i can do something different before for Wednesday. Right. tell me what 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 i need to do differently so that i can reach you and i, I don't want to talk about the other students of the class i'm talking about you you, the individual, tell me what you want me to do so that I can reach you better. Sir, the way of me come out much, sir, is with repetition. My need for the large amount of uh, questions be sticking on my head. And true, man, I haven't been been to school in a year. I literally never remember of multiplying all of it. Like, I just need to do a lot of questions. It's not that I not understand, I not, just now remember for the certain stuff like never remember if negative times positive equals negative or positive never remember none of that one of it okay when we can fix my problem all right i'm happy about so that i can give some practice questions sir the practice questions are on edit or something edit point yeah edit and the point edit so we just need we still gonna oh sir i have whatever. access now um, not just yet. I'm waiting for the, for the, um, I'm waiting for the, I need to speak to Edifo. And, um, to, 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 to end last term stuff for me. You hear me? You hear me talking? Yes, sir. All right. 
So I'm going to speak to them by Wednesday. Hopefully, you can get the stuff um, up on thing. It's just that those who were on the platform last term, um, because the term is still active for the others to other lecturers who complete the stuff, I am unable to to promote you or to add you because every time I try adding, I tried adding you this morning. When I sent, did I send you a, um, a message this morning? No, sir. When I sent a message this morning? Let me look. Asking you for your ID. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. think I email. Right. So I was, I was trying, I was, I tried adding you at that time and it just wouldn't go through. All right. Um, anybody else you have, um, do you have a suggestion as to how else I can do things differently to reach you? Sir, so for me then, sir, since I don't have any cuss up, you can send like some practice special in the group. No, ma'am. We can go to edit the Yes. Are there any other Yes, please. Go ahead, sir. On medical staff, you should go ahead. You should check assessments because I checked it today and it, I don't think I saw anything, but I didn't check hold on, assessments. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is very critical. I'm almost sure that I did. I'm almost sure that I did. Um, hold on. Um, I'm checking now because I'm sure that I transferred all the assessments. Hold on. Uh, let's see something, sorry. I might have, uh, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna oh. okay. Because I'm saying to myself, I know I fully set up the class already for any The only thing that I've not done is is those students who were with me last term. I'm unable to to add them because this this the term is is active. Yeah, man, it's there. It's fully there. They are all there. Yeah. All right, students. Um, might I suggest that you all go on? I'm going to see if I can speak to editor for them to close out the platform tonight. I mean, not tonight. Maybe they can't do tonight. Um, but to close out the platform, so by Wednesday the latest, you can have your access to it. As soon as it is closed, though, I can definitely get you guys attached to it so that I can you can start working. But students, I I lost the momentum that I was going on with tonight. Lost it because, um, you know, we really weren't moving on. Um, and and really and truly, you know, it was something very simple that we're doing polynomials, also substitute and just evaluate. And we, we 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 had a difficulty with you know with a few students, and um, I'm just wondering. What is happening? All right. Um, let us see if we can get some work done before class next good next class, and please. And I won't be able to give you any grace period like I did today come next class because I have to make up this time that I've, I've lost just now. All right. So no grace period for the rest of the week. Class that at five o'clock on Wednesday, God's willing. We're coming in at five o'clock. Class at six o'clock. We're starting at six o'clock. I'm not giving another 15 minutes. I need to make up at those that half an hour that we missed today um, from Wednesday and um, Friday of this week. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Yes. 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 Yes.